The following video will show how a menu profile will be created for a specific user. From the left list, select on Setup. In the navigation section, under Users, click on Menu Profile. All menu profiles within SageX3 will be displayed in the left list. To create a new menu profile, click on New in the right list. Enter a new menu profile code. Enter a new menu profile description. In profile type, select normal. For an administrative user, click on the drop down and select administrator. For this example, we'll select normal. In the Startup menu field, click on the selection icon. The user can scroll down and select General Menu. Selecting a Startup menu will generate pre-setup selections in the grid at the bottom that can be altered to the user specifications. Using the little arrows on the left, once clicked on, will give you a drop-down of all functions and sub-modules that will be linked to that specific selection. So we'll close these drop downs up. This is a standard list of all the modules within Sage X3. The same as all the left, left list items the user will see from the navigation screen. So for this example we'll create a quick uh, procurement menu profile. So to do this, we can delete any unnecessary modules that the user is not permitted to see. To do this, on the right hand side, click on the Actions button. This will give a drop down to add a menu, add function, delete, edit or zoom. We will delete this module. The user will see that the development module has been removed from the menu profile. If the user does not want to delete their entire menu profile but a specific function, that can be done. To do this, you select one of the modules and underneath the modules we get the sub modules. So if I want to delete a specific sub module, we can click on that sub module, click on the action icon and click delete.
if you close up the modules again and go back to sales the user will see that the price list submodule has been deleted from the menu profile if the user does not want to delete an entire submodule one specific function can be deleted select a specific function for instance quote go to the action button and click on delete If we close up the modules again and go back to sales, the user will see that under the quotes submodule, the quotes function has been deleted. The user can then add a function back in by clicking on the actions button and selecting add function. So to add the function, the user needs to enter the function code. To search for the function code, click on the selection icon. We can filter either by code, description or module. So in description, we'll search for quote. We can also further filter on the specific module to make the list a bit smaller. So we will select the quotes list code. The description will default from the code. The user can then click on OK. If a user wants to add the module back into the menu profile, the user can click on the starting menu and click on the action button and select add a menu. To search for the menu code, select the selection icon. In the description field, we will search for development. We can select the development code. The description will default from the code. To have all of the submodules and functions linked under the development module, Click on the Add Functions tick box. If you do not tick this tick box, none of the submodules and the functions will be added. Click on OK. If we close up all the modules again, we will see that development has been added back into the menu profile. So as a note, it is always easier to start with the start menu as the general one we selected and deleting modules and submodules and functions as we don't need them instead of adding 
in one of the smaller startup menus. So start off with the full general menu and delete the modules as needed. When this is done, click on create. Click on OK. The user can now refresh the page by hitting Escape and F5. This will then show the new menu profile that's been created in the left list. So in the left list, we can see the new menu profile. 